Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're checking out a gaming laptop that we've actually never heard of, the BMAX for $400 on Amazon. Yeah, for 400 bucks on Amazon, which, correction, is $499 right now, but with a $100 coupon, you can get a gaming laptop with a Ryzen 5 3450U, 8 gigs of RAM, and a 512 gig SSD. It can play some games most likely, but is it really a gaming laptop? We're about to find out, but first, a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at BitPhoenix and their Trace case with a very unique and beautiful RGB illumination front panel made from solid steel. This front panel not only looks beautiful but provides great airflow to your PC build and includes a mesh dust filter. This case also features an easy to remove tempered glass side panel, four included fans, ample room for cable management, and support for up to 360 millimeter radiators at the front or on top of the case with enough room to even fit the latest RTX 4000 series GPUs. To learn more about this awesome new case from BitPhoenix, check the link down below and shout out again to BitPhoenix for sponsoring today's video. So we are no stranger to Ryzen APUs and CPUs. We've been using them since Ryzen came out. We've gotten to check out 2nd, 3rd, 5th, and even 6th and 7th gen. So yeah, we've really seen all of them and this is technically pretty old now. I mean, we're up to Ryzen 6000 and 7000 series in laptops. So is this still any good? And at $400 for like a no-name brand, is it even good at all? Yeah, so it's a pretty compact laptop. We'll be interested to see how well it performs at the temperature are good if there's any sort of downside with this thing like single channel memory but yeah let's just open it up and see what's inside because i'm very interested to see all right it's time to open up this bmax laptop and they actually have a website it's www.bmaxit.com <laughs> so you gotta be B your best it. bmax all right so we get some foam in the inside a pretty good looking box if i say so myself i already see some power adapters so that you can put a different plug end on there in case you're in the uk or the eu or china for example so this thing is Mr. Worldwide. They have you like covered. I mean, we got all the major ones. I think uh, we have EU and UK, if I remember right. They probably cover some other places too, obviously. But I'm not the biggest fan of these, obviously, because like you're basically taking just more points of failure. You're adding more points of failure with these. It only goes in one way. I can't screw this up too. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Just like that. So yeah, I mean, it's not like the safest in my opinion. The power supply itself is only 47.5 watts. So relatively low for a gaming laptop. And the packaging's pretty good though. I will admit we do have some laptops that we get here that are brand new from the manufacturers that are actually gaming and they don't come packed quite this well sometimes. So kind of, you know, give and take. You get a really bad laptop, but you get some good packaging. I'm hoping for the case that this is actually like a pretty solid like business laptop and they just kind of went a little too overboard with the gaming listing, but we'll see. Oh, wait, <laughs> no, it has the peel. Oh, it really <laughs> baited me there. Yeah, they went all out with like the peel. Like Once again, I mean, a lot of gaming laptops do not have like this cover over the back. I already see an issue. The bezel oh, right here is man. like, I can- some panel, oh. And it's fixed. Uh, Look little, at that. shipping issue. Yeah, definitely not great. It's either shipping issue or they literally just didn't get it all the way down from the factory. But it's a very standard looking laptop. Like if I didn't know any better opening this up because there's really no branding, I would just be like, this could be any brand. It could be HP, Dell, Acer, Asus. Like, yeah, there's really not much to it. And you can see we got some BMAX branding on the front and back though, which is nice because a lot of the no-name brand laptops will have like nothing. And you're just like, what What even is this? So let's see if this thing has any residual power from shipping. It's, it's came from a long way overseas. Oh, we, I, I think we, we have do. something. Four core, eight thread, and max boost clock up to 3.5 gigahertz. Okay, so yeah, I mean, four core, eight thread, I feel like this is, we went through a phase where we checked out a lot of the, like the 3250U and I think the 3450U. We went through a lot of those and like, they weren't bad. I mean, the laptops usually ranged from about 250 bucks all the way up to about like 450-ish. But that was also when we were back at the old office, I wanna say about two or three years ago. So obviously times have changed. And nowadays you can get a laptop with like, let's say a 1650 or even like a 3050 mobile um, with like a newer gen CPU and everything for about 400 bucks and up. So I mean, this thing really doesn't make a ton of sense, right? Why is it so dark? <laughs> yeah, it's like flickering on camera right now. I don't know if it's because the bright brightness is so low. No, it's, it's pretty dim. It's pretty dim. And it the angles are kind of weird. Like on, at least on camera, if you go over here, it's like nothing. Like it's- Yeah, weird. it's definitely, it ain't like a curved monitor. Look at it flickering. <laughs> it is really weird. Yeah, by the way, guys, it is not flickering in real life. I mean, so far, like it, it looks smooth on here. I mean, it looks like it's probably 60 or- Maybe it's not running at 60 Hertz right now. That could be it. Let me Say. Maybe. That here, almost, here, it almost feels like. Fix. Yep. So it's 60? Uh, it's not set at 60, I don't think. I think it's running at like 50 or something. Or it's 75. Yeah. It feels like oddly smooth to me. Like that, that's what I'm confused about. So let's call this gaming. Keyboard's not bad. Trackpad's 
not bad either. I mean, I can't complain so far. But yeah, once again, it is not flickering. It's just the camera. Uh, it's not happy with the refresh rate of the laptop probably. So once we get in here, we'll actually figure out what resolution we're running, what refresh rate we're running. Well, flesh weight. <laughs> um, rate. Obviously, we know the max brightness. It's not very bright. It looks like it could be like an sort of like a knockoff IPS display. Maybe it is IPS because it is very dim, which gives me IPS vibes. Um, but yeah, they're gonna install some games, probably some very basic games because we we have already tested these similar CPUs, so we know it's not gonna run great. Oh yes, I forgot, I always do that. Wow, that's weird. So on the right side, we have a micro SD card reader. Next to that, we have a combo headphone jack. We have a USB 3. And then on the left-hand side, we have another USB 3. We have our 19 volt, tiny little barrel jack. It's one of the smallest ones I've ever seen. And then a full-size HDMI, which I, I like that's to crazy. see that. Yeah, that's pretty nice. So definitely kind of geared as like an on-the-go laptop. It is very light. I will say that very light, a little bit flimsy feeling, but it's not like level of flimsy where I'm too worried. Now, one thing I am noticing is I think now that we have the power jack actually plugged in all the way, we're actually getting a fairly bright screen. Let's make sure we're yeah, all the way. It's not flickering. Oh yeah, well, that's good. So we got a, actually a pretty bright screen. I can't really knock this thing right now. So we're on 1920 by 1080. And I, yep, that's our recommended. Let's see, we don't have drivers, but I'm assuming it's just gonna be 60. It says it's yep. 60, can we go any higher? Nope, no, 60. so 60 Hertz. So yeah, just a 60 Hertz, you know, it's using those Vega 8 graphics, uh, four core, eight thread. Let's check out some of our other specs. This is Do one of the best ways. or dual channel memory yeah. we're working with. we we'll go to the task manager. Oh my God, okay, trackpad's getting weird. See, he's at 100%. We're probably doing like first time launch updates, but yeah, four core, eight thread, base speed of 2.1 gigahertz. We're at 3.05 right now, so we are boosting. We have eight gigs, it says two of two okay. at 2400 megahertz. So that's gonna be DDR4 SODIM, which I mean, that's definitely nice. I don't know if it's truly two of two. More than likely, the RAM is soldered in the, actually, that's probably for expansion. Probably storage That's my expansion. guess. That might be M.2, but that's cool. I love when laptop manufacturers do that, so you don't have to take the whole freaking backplate off. There's a lot of name brand ones, almost all of them, that do not do that, so I'm giving them props for that. It looks like we have a, I don't know what brand it is, but a 512 gig uh, M.2 SSD. I don't think it's NVMe, but we can look it up if we if we can. It's probably like straight from China, so we might not be able to. And then Vega 8 graphics with, looks like we only have half a gig of dedicated GPU uh, memory. You can sort of like dedicate more. You can see we have like 3.7 shared, um, but that's something that we're not gonna do because we just wanna test it in its current state. So we're gonna get some games downloading on it. I do wanna point out it does have a Okay, oh, I'm, I'm, backlit I'm keyboard. ADHD. But yeah, I saw. I just realized, I'm like, it does have a backlit keyboard. That does add some points to it. But we're gonna download some games and see how it works. All right, guys, first game, of course, we have to test good old Fortnite. Right now, we're running 70% render scale, 1080p, performance settings, medium view distance, medium texture, which, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and take that down to low because, well, it is uh, struggling a little bit so far, even in the warm-up lobby. And uh, right now, only getting about 50-ish FPS, but this is a pretty demanding area where a lot of things are loading in. So we'll see what happens once we land into Fortnite, but um, I'm not expecting this thing to be a gaming powerhouse. If it can play Fortnite on lower settings, then of course, Oh, look at look at that look at those textures struggling to load in uh, of course it can be used as that but it's the fact that this thing is being sold for around $400 and uses this 3000 series Ryzen CPU that is very dated at this point. Um, and there are other options out there like ones with 5500 U's around the same price point uh, that are six core 12 threaded processors with better Vega graphics that uh, will give you even better game performance and overall better laptop performance. So I think that's the biggest issue with this thing. If it was like 300 bucks, if it compared to some of the other cheaper $300 laptops out there that have like 3250 U's and 3200 U's, then sure. Uh, I think for 300 bucks it'd be fine, but as you can see right here, this should not have gaming in the title. It's this poor little 3450U with its Vega graphics is not gonna be that ideal for 1080p gaming. Um, I will drop it to 50% render scale because I think 720p is kind of what we're looking at for a good experience here, but right now, oh, well, wait, unless it gets better. No, it's still, it's still pretty stuttery. Let's go ahead and uh, run through here real quick. Right now, it's not looking like things are gonna get a heck of a lot better. Okay, inside this building, it's it's getting close to 60, so let's, let's go ahead and drop the render resolution scale. Let's go down to 50%. Get a little better, more of a smooth experience, but we're still in the like 10 millisecond range, which isn't an ideal gaming experience. Wouldn't necessarily recommend uh, playing Fortnite this way, but technically it looks okay. 720p is not that bad on this display because it is a smaller 14 inch screen. So you can't get away with this, but it's still not gaming focused in my opinion. Unless you consider just playing Minecraft and Roblox gaming, because if that's the case, then sure, it's gaming. It's like zip around the city real quick. Maybe someone will shoot at me. Okay. 
I'm leaving this area. I found my motorcycle guy. Oh, my view distance is very poor. I had to really lean into this laptop. Ah! No! Oh! Uh, oh my God, that was awful. Let me try. Let me try another drop. And I don't think it's gonna get much better than this, ladies and gentlemen. And I did notice as well. I lift this thing up. I don't think it's thermal throttling. It's just not getting the power um, that the CPU is actually capable of doing. The 3450U can boost all the way up to 3.5 gigahertz. We're only getting 1.92 gigahertz, which is lower than I was expecting. It is a very thin device, so I'm thinking that has to do with it, but still not, not ideal considering that we're already using a CPU that is older and the Vega graphics that are older and we're not even fully taking advantage of what it's capable of doing. So that, that is a downside with this thing. And um, why it probably shouldn't even be advertised as gaming to begin with. Oh, what is this scope? Oh, I just that grenade towards me. That person dipped. Pick up the pace, Matt. Oh, hello. Look at this scope. What is going on? Clearly, with this kind of FPS, I need to be sniping. Oh, God. Oh, they're getting third partied. Oh, I'm getting quadruple party. Ah! Oh God, no, I couldn't do it. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and do a switch to another esports title, Rocket League. Um, just see if that runs any better, but I'm expecting not a great playable experience, but we're gonna switch to it anyways. All right, guys, we are now in Rocket League, and I will show you the settings momentarily. Uh, we are on 720p, pretty much all low, basically, performance settings in Rocket League. It's it's not it's not doing too great, guys. Let's see if I can show you real quick. Yeah, here's all the settings, and we're getting, well, okay, almost almost playable. Not, not necessarily, though. 40 to 50 FPS. I mean, if you're desperate enough, technically this is playable, but again, I wouldn't deem this as the most playable experience out there. Oh, man, this guy just, he wasn't built for it, though. Yup. Ruthless, absolute baller. Oop. Oh, I thought I could get around him. Oh, no, did I just give him a free goal? Oh, no, sir, not today. Let's get over his head. Oh, oh, or just around the corner on him. Oh, man, little buddy. Oh, oh, he bumped me. No, there we go. Okay, and we have scored, yeah. I don't see defeat happening now. Is he gonna forfeit? Oh, he forfeited. Well, GG, well played. All right, Rocket League runs well. I think what I'm gonna do, because I'm kind of curious at this point now, will this thing run Roblox? More specifically, the new Roblox game that's out there that is sweeping the nation and uh, is like the better Call of Duty. So let, let's try that. Ladies and gentlemen, don't let your eyes deceive you. This is not Call of Duty. This is Roblox, front lines, and we're getting 32 FPS. Can't say it can run this very well, but it's technically running it. Oh goodness. Oh, I got my first kill? Let's go. Yeah. Oh, there they all are. Oh wow, I just got beat. Overall, this laptop is, uh, I would say, something. It's, uh, it's not great for gaming. It's probably okay for other things, but there are better priced laptops out there even for just business use, like the Ryzen 5 5500U. Laptops regularly go on sale for like 350 to like, oh goodness, oh goodness, I'm gonna die, okay. Go on sale regularly for like 350 to $400, and at this price point with its $100 discount, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I think it really is just gonna sell because it's on Amazon with Prime Shipping, and there's just a lot of people out there to go to Amazon to buy absolutely everything, so it works. You can't doubt it for not working, but it definitely is not the best value out there. Let's just go ahead and wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking old Baymax over here, old, old B Max. Y'all know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it performed well, but it didn't really perform great for the price. Like I said, if you do some deal hunting, you can probably find like a 1650 laptop or better, especially if you're willing to go into the used market than this laptop right here. Yeah, it's just another one of those Amazon laptops that people are gonna buy. And eventually, you know, it's gonna get enough for reviews where it might sell a decent amount. But for the most part, I think there are way better options. But if if you want to look at this laptop yourself and draw your own conclusions, check the links down below. They will be affiliate links and will help us out. Let us know what you think of this laptop and let us know if there's any other weird laptops or just normal gaming laptops you want to see us review here on the channel.
And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye this laptop right here will sort of sadly but happily be for sale at pcbros.tech and it's going to come with our one-year warranty even though it's not even technically ours i know we're crazy like that we will honor that warranty pcbros.tech use code toastybros to uncheck out to save two percent your next purchase see you guys later goodbye peace out